Yo, this your boy, Don Lowell, one half of the Drain Campaign, representing the 757973, man. I just giving y'all the views of the seven, you know what I mean? Check it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to everybody. Let y'all know where we at right now, man. We downtown. We down here on 16th Ave. You know what I'm saying? We in the hood right now. I know it don't look like the hood too much. But we're going to give y'all a few shots of a few projects that's down here. And we're going to get into this motherfucking interview from the questions that y'all have wanted to ask me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting into it. And I'm going to get to y'all right now. So it's good. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it. I was born and raised in North New Jersey. You know what I'm saying? All my life, you know what I mean, for at least 16 years. Then I had made a uh, bypass to Chicago. Then I ended up here in Newport News, Virginia. This became my second home. So you could basically say both places, you know what I'm saying, between um, between Brick City and between uh, the 757 Bad News, you know what I'm saying? Um, well, my inspiration to pull me into the music field, it was really, uh, it, was, it wasn't, it was, it was, it was just the streets, you know what I'm saying? We just wanted to be able to speak for the streets, just have somebody that's being able to speak that's real, you know what I mean? That's, that's really, really coming from the streets. Everybody talk about how, how they so real and they got all these glory stories, but they don't got nothing to back it up. I don't have a Jay-Z story, you know what I'm saying? My story is like Jay-Z's with a mix with 50 Cent in it, you feel what I'm saying? That's how it is, yo, for real. I don't have the glory story of, you know what I'm saying, being the dope dealer with the honey keys and getting the rap deal, you know what I'm saying? I seen the ups and the downs of this game so you know what I'm saying that's what the 757 bring you out here you know what I mean it's ups and downs of this thing one of my fondest memories that I have is with uh, my homeboy you know what I'm saying shout out to Chops shout out to JT you know what I'm saying um, when we used to be up in Denby man you know what I'm saying uh, that's uptown you know what I'm saying 15,000 block y'all know what it is uh, we used to be up there, you know what I'm saying? We used to uh, record on the karaoke machine. I used to record the beats. I used to make the beats. I used to have to uh, like like record them, stop the beats on the snare or on the on the uh, on the bass, and mess around here and record in order for me to get beats before they actually had instrumentals. So that would used to be me recording inside the inside the closets and shit and my karaoke's and all of that. I mean, it was pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? That, that was my pretty far memory of my music. You know what I'm saying? That's what got me got me into this. Uh, Where well, I coined it. <laughs> Drinking, that, that, that's, a, uh, that's a real good question. Um, well, I hear everybody out here talking about something, they be dripping. And I'm like, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, dripping is, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that's a nice thing, you know what I'm saying? That's something nice to do, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, but I thought about draining, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, if people be out here dripping, I was like, yo, and everybody be like, yo, your style is fly, you know what I'm saying? You be fresh all the time, you know what I'm saying? I love your style and everything else, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They was like, yo, you be dripping. You know what I'm I was like, nah, I am like, yo, dripping is like something that's like, whoop, whoop, whoop. So I thought about my mom's, and my mom used to tell me like, yo, why don't you go on the damn, once you get finished washing the dishes, boy, you know what I'm saying, you go out here and shit, you go out here and you drain that water out the sink. And I thought about the drain, and I thought about how much of a drain it really was, and I thought about how, how that water just sucked all out that damn sink, and I was like, damn, yo, if y'all drip it, then I'm draining. You know what I'm saying? Yo, this right here, this right here is Stewart Gardens. We in Bad News, Virginia, you know what I'm saying? We downtown on 16th Avenue, this is Stewart Gardens. This is where Allen Iverson is from. You know what I'm saying? This is what Allen Iverson crossed his first nigga at. You know what I'm saying? We well, caught his first football at and everything. You know what I mean? This is what we do out here, man. We, we create legends out here. You know, even though I'm from Jersey, but you got to understand, your bad news is so much a part of me, man. I say it's half and half. You know what I'm saying? I got a quarter of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Half of bad news and the other half Jersey, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what it is, man. We love it out here. This is bad news. We love, we love our own. We about to take you to where Mike Vick is born at. You know what I'm saying? We about to show you where he's from. You know what I mean? This right here is called Stewart Gardens. You know what I mean? The G's. For those that know. Yeah. Yo, let y'all know where we at, man. We downtown bad news. Where we at, yo? We in Aqua Vista, Mr. Check this out, man. Continue on with this. Part two. Yeah. Uptown Street. All the way to downtown. Um, I mean, I come from a different era of hip hop where, you know, lyricism, you know what I'm saying, it had to be top notch, you know what I'm saying? So it was a lot of artists that I looked up to, such as Big Daddy Kane, um, Rakim, uh, I'm gonna say even, um, <laughs> even Biz Marquee. It was a lot of artists that I looked up to that, uh, that made it happen, you know what I'm saying, for me in this time and this era, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna particularly say uh, Killer Priest uh, from the Wu-Tang Clan, you know what I'm saying? That's my number one rapper, you know what I'm saying? 
he was the number one top, top, top notch dude to me when it came to legacy. Uh, I don't even have a music style. I let the music talk to me. I made the, I let the beat um, come to me. I let whatever is going to happen happen, man. You know, when the beat can talk to me, to let me know what's good. You know what I'm saying? To let me know how it's feeling, and then I go off of how the beat is feeling, and I make my my genre, and I make whatever music comes to that, and I make sure that it happens. You know what I'm saying? I make sure I make the music for y'all to enjoy. Well, um, I believe that the Drain campaign, I believe we'll be on top, you know what I'm saying? I believe we, are, we I think that we'll really be at the, probably the middle part of our independent game, um, because we're still at the, uh, the learning process, uh, and it's not, it's not an easy process, like I said, we're doing everything in-house, uh, we got our own merchandise, we do our own thing, we do our own clothing, we do our own wardrobes, uh, we do our own art, you know, so it's a lot, you know what I mean, do our own mix and mastering and production, you know, uh, shout out, you know what I'm saying, shout out to the producers that we deal with, you know what I'm saying, as far as like Chance, um, shout out to Murder, you know what I'm saying, from St. Louis, uh, Mo, a Mo Freshman from uh, Buffalo and all of them cats, you know what I'm saying, that's doing it independently, you know what I'm saying, but uh, as far as the drain campaign, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, um, oh yeah, and shout out to Breezy too, you know what I'm saying, from Houston, man, and shout out to him too, much love from Bad News, um, but where I see the Drain campaign, I see us on top of the independent game, you know what I'm saying, continuing the marathon like, uh, like Nipsey, like Nipsey uh, had going on, you know what I'm saying, because it was a lot of things going on that Nipsey had going on that I think that us as independent artists, man, we should be able to keep keep going, you know what I'm saying, and it shouldn't be hard to do, because like you said, man, he left he left crumbs inside our, inside our maze, yo. <laughs> Started from nothing, keep grinding, always stay persistent and don't be afraid, you know what I'm saying, you gotta stay out there, you gotta do you first thing everybody want to do is not, you know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't going to see your vision, everybody ain't going to see your dream, you know what I'm saying? So you got to stay, you got to stay diligent, you know what I mean? And on top of that, you got to have someone around you. If you can't push yourself, you got to have someone around you that's pushing you, that can help you get to where you need to get to, you know what I'm saying? Because that's a big thing, is being able to stay consistent, stay diligent, you know what I'm saying? Because persistence overcomes resistance, and that's the biggest thing that you have to overcome. Is the laziness of it, you know what I'm saying? The boringness of it, because a lot of times you're not gonna make great songs. A lot of times your songs is not gonna come out dope, you know what I'm saying? And the mixing and mastering gonna sound shitty, you know what I'm saying? But put that shit out, you know what I'm saying? Fuck what everybody else saying, you know what I'm saying? I did it, you know what I mean? And now my music quality is starting to get better, I feel, you know what I mean? And it's gonna only get better. Just like I tell anybody, if you have a talent, you know, people gonna hear the talent through the quality of the music. So let, your, so let your music be heard because your words are very important for somebody need to hear it. You know what I mean? You're speaking for somebody. Oh, absolutely. Um, I do everything 100% on my own. Mix master on my masters. Uh, I'm one half of the drain campaign, you know what I'm saying? The other half is the pretty lady, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty baby, you know? Uh, she's the other half, you know what I mean? She makes it happy for me, you know what I mean? Without her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to be where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying? As far as music is. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to be where I'm at right now, being able to be what I'm doing and doing what I'm doing. Um, I have to do what I have to do in order for me to be able to be who I have to be. You know what I'm saying? And do anything that I need to do. So, we're going to make that shit happen. Like a, this is like a little spot of humility for me. Um, about a few years ago, I'm gonna say probably about, I'm gonna say probably about, is it two, I'm gonna say about six years ago, I was uh, I was suffering from a thing called homelessness, you know what I'm saying? And this is one of the spots I used to come through, and I used to, you know what I'm saying? I used to sleep over here, man. It's a real, real humble experience coming back, I'm gonna be honest with you. Thing. The thing that I used to sleep behind here, sleep behind here, you know what I'm saying? I used to sleep behind here, so you can imagine, so you can imagine what I used to have to do, you know what I mean? 
I mean, survive, you know what I mean? This is, this is total survival of what I had to do, you know what I mean? This is just one of the many spots that I used to have to sleep, you know what I mean? When I used to have, when I was out here homeless and shit, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to bring you here. This is a real intricate spot for me, you know what I'm saying? It's a humbling experience, you know what I mean? Real shit. Um, well, I always flew independently, but my crew always was independent, you know what I'm saying? Everybody had their own thing going on. My man Chops, he messed around here and he always did his thing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? He always did his thing or whatever. And it always was a thing. Come on. You know what I mean? Come on. You know it was always a thing of our uh, independence. You know what I'm saying? We always had we always had our independence. We always wanted our independence. We always wanted everything to be on our own. You know what I'm saying? So I always formed a labor team together to figure out who was gonna be best suit for what. You know what I'm saying? So I knew that I was the artist and I was the producer. So what I did was I did that, and then I had my man Chops with me, and then I had my man JT with me, and then we all collaborated and we made our own thing. But we always had our own thing, but we always helped each other as collectives, so we always flew, flew independent. We was always kings of our own kingdom, you feel me? So that's what it was always about, being independent. Yeah, yeah, we have albums in the mix. We have definitely, we have a couple more albums that, that we're going to be doing, that we have things that's going on. We got, we got a whole bunch of other things that's going on that we got. We got, a, we got a whole bunch of other things that's going on as far as uh, production-wise. Uh, we have production, we have uh, shirts, we have uh, airbrushing, we have uh, a whole bunch of other things that's going on as far as that, too far as filming. We're going to start doing videos and a lot of stuff that's going on as far as, uh, as, far as the dream campaign that we have coming up in, uh, as far as the music. We just don't have music. We have a bunch of things that we're putting our hands into, so that's going to be good for us.